Welcome to worship at Trinity Lutheran Church as we gather in this season of Advent on this first Wednesday in Advent. We invite you to settle down, to take some deep breaths, maybe light a candle of your own, and rest in the presence of God as we watch and wait together in this time of Advent. In this season of Advent, we wait for the annual celebration of Christ's birth. We wait with anticipation, joy, and this year, perhaps with heaviness, hesitancy. This season of Advent calls to mind a different kind of waiting, a deeper longing, a hope and a prayer for the day when Jesus will come again to make everything right, to fix all the things that we have messed up. To heal the sick, mend broken hearts, rid the world of the coronavirus, rain down justice, reconcile relationships, cure our selfishness, give us a vaccine, ease our burdens, calm our fears, put an end to racism, sexism, homophobia, arrogance, and greed to fix those things that on our own we cannot fix, to make whole the places in our lives that are bruised and broken, to finally, once and for all, heal and restore and reconcile and redeem all of creation. My heart shall sing of the day you bring, let the fires of your justice burn. Wipe away all tears, for the dawn draws near, and the world is about to turn. In this season of Advent, we long for that day when Jesus will come and open our eyes, and we will finally see the oneness of all creation. We will finally understand that we are all one. Brothers, sisters, siblings, rich and poor, black, brown, and white, gay, straight, trans, Muslims, Jews, and Christians. We long for that day of healing and reconciliation. We long for that day when peace shall reign over all the earth when the signs that Isaiah prophesied will come to pass. The wolf shall live with the lamb, the leopard shall lie down with the kid. The calf and the lion and the fatling together, and a little child shall lead them. The cow and the bear shall graze, their young shall lie down together. And the lion shall eat straw like the ox, the nursing child shall play over the hole of the asp, and the weaned child shall put its hand on the adder's den. They will not hurt or destroy on all my holy mountain, for the earth will be full of the knowledge of the Lord as the waters cover the seas. My heart shall sing of the day you bring, let the fires of your justice burn. Wipe away all tears, for the dawn draws near, and the world is about to turn. A reading from The Yearning by Susan Bental Borsman. There is a yearning in hearts weighted down by ancient grief and centuries of sorrow. There is a yearning in hearts that in the darkness hide and in shades of death abide, a yearning for tomorrow. 
there is a yearning, a yearning for the promised one, the firstborn of creation. There is a yearning for the Lord who visited his own and by his death for sin atoned to bring us salvation. Emmanuel, Emmanuel, within our hearts, the yearning. There is a yearning that fills the hearts of those who wait the day of his appearing. There is a yearning when all our sorrows are erased and we shall see the one who placed within our hearts the yearning. Emmanuel, Emmanuel, within our hearts the yearning. My heart shall sing of the day you bring, let the fires of your justice burn. Wipe away all tears, for the dawn draws near, and the world is about to Is it just me, or does it feel like we've been living through eight months of Advent? Eight months of waiting, hoping, praying, longing, yearning, wishing for the lives we used to live, the rituals we used to enjoy, the habits that used to define our days. In many ways, it feels that we are still living through the longest Advent season ever. Not just the traditional four weeks of waiting, but eight months of waiting. There is new hope that things might change. Vaccines have been approved. The promise that first responders and medical personnel will this month begin to receive the vaccine. There is fresh hope that our worry, fear, and anxiety about this deadly virus may come to an end. But for now, the threat is worse than ever. We've got to stay on our toes. This is no time for laziness, no time to let down our guard. We are not where we need to be. We are still waiting, hoping, praying, longing, yearning, wishing for the new day, the day when coronavirus will not rule the world, the day when coronavirus will not dominate our lives. I keep coming back to those words from Psalm 13. How long, O Lord, how long will you forget me forever? How long will you hide your face from me? How long must I wrestle with my anguish and wallow in fear? How long, O oh Lord, how long? How long must we persevere through this challenging season of isolation, loneliness, fear, and suffering? How long, O oh Lord, how long? I am waiting and longing and yearning to gather with friends and loved ones around our family's dinner table, to gather with siblings in Christ at Trinity for worship in our beloved sanctuary, to instinctively reach out my hand to comfort someone who is hurting, to see someone I love and care about and without hesitation reach out for a warm embrace, to hear the laughter of our home once again full with the laughter of our daughter and her friends, to be free from the constant fear and worry of coronavirus, to welcome dear ones into our home for an evening of board games, to use the way too many place settings of Christmas china that I have in my possession, to eagerly extend a hand when meeting someone for the first time. I long to fiercely embrace people I love and have gone so long without. I want to pack a suitcase, get on a plane, 
and travel to a brand new city and explore without cause or care. I want to walk into my childhood home, see my mother, and smell the homemade sweet potato pies that she is frying just for me. I want to be with my people, surrounded by my tribe, feel normal again. I want to let down my guard, stop living in fear, feel free and whole and at peace. I am longing to have my hope restored and renewed and refreshed. In his letter to the church at Rome, St. Paul says, Hope does not disappoint, because the love of God has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. Hope does not disappoint. Yes, we must wait a little longer, we must be still, stay home, practice restraint, but God gives us these words of good news. Hope does not disappoint. The Holy Spirit is alive and well, thriving among us, showing up for us at just the right time, just when our hope is fading. It's that unexpected card in the mail, the phone call, a little gift delivered to the front door, an encouraging text, an affirming email, a physically distant outdoor visit. All of those things restore my hope. This Advent season is a time of hope, hope that God will send God's very own child to redeem the world, to love and save and bless and heal and love us all. My friends in Christ, let us keep hope alive. When the darkness of these days threatens to overwhelm, let us fan the flames of hope in our hearts. Let us keep hope alive for others. God has not left us to our own devices. God has given us a community, a family of faith, siblings to lean on in times of trouble, friends to cheer our way, dear ones to lift us up and encourage us, fellow believers to bolster our faith, to renew our hope, to give us strength. We do not make this journey through Advent alone. We walk together. We walk in hope. We walk hand in hand, trusting that God is with us, that God will never leave us, never forsake us. We walk in faith. We walk in love. We walk as God's beloved, precious children who have hope, hope in Christ, hope in the one who has come, who is coming, and who will come again. On this first Wednesday in the Advent season, may your hearts be filled with hope at the promised coming of our Savior. Amen. It won't be long now, it won't be long. It won't be long now, it won't be long Till justice comes rolling like a mighty stream It won't be long now, be long Siblings, be strong now, siblings, be strong. Siblings, be strong now, siblings, be strong. Till justice comes rolling like a mighty stream. Siblings, be strong now, be strong. 
Freedom, our song now, freedom, our song. Freedom, our song now, freedom, our song. Till justice comes rolling like a mighty stream. Freedom, be strong now, our song. Let us pray. Remind us, O Lord, that it won't be long now, that the fulfillment of your work to bring healing, wholeness, peace, reconciliation, and redemption to the world is close at hand. It won't be long now. Give us the strength and the patience to hold on, to keep the faith, to weather the storm, to practice stillness, to wait out this global pandemic. Remind us, O oh Lord, that it won't be long now until you will restore our lives and all of creation. Amen. Amen. you come to us, bring us your light. In silence we wait, in darkness you come to us, bring us your light. We long for the day when no child will go to bed hungry. In silence we wait, in darkness you come to us, bring us your light. We wait for the day when all people, our black and brown siblings, those struggling with mental illness, the queer community, especially our trans siblings, and those living in poverty, will be treated with love, respect, and honor. In silence we wait, in darkness you come to us, bring us your light. We long for the day when the coronavirus no longer rules the world, no longer holds us captive to our fear. In silence we wait, in darkness you come to us, bring us your light. We wait for the day when immigrants will be welcomed into our nation with open arms, with love and acceptance. In silence we wait, in darkness you come to us, bring us your light. We long for the day when depression and anxiety will not be a daily challenge for so many. In silence we wait, in darkness you come to us, bring us your light. We wait for the day when the vast divide in our nation will be healed, when we can embody the unity we share, when we can see the responsibility each of us bears for every single other person on the earth. In silence we wait, in darkness you come to us, bring us your light. We long for the day when families will be whole, well, and safe. In silence we wait, 
In darkness you come to us, bring us your light. We wait for the day when all people will have access to food, medical care, housing, the day when both the rich and the poor will have everything they need. In silence we wait, in darkness you come to us, bring us your light. We long for the day when Jesus comes again and the world and our hearts will be at peace. We pray now that God, our heavenly parent, will hear the silent yearnings, the quiet longings, and the deepest desires of our hearts that we name silently now in our hearts. Holy God, eternal light, heavenly mother and father, we wait in the dim glow of these Advent candles, signs of our hope and your promise. We cry out for your dawn to illumine our lives, to pierce the darkness of our sin and sorrow and sadness, and to shine on this community our neighborhoods, our nation, and your whole creation. Hear our prayer, O God, and strengthen our faith through the one for whom we wait, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. This night, acknowledge the places of deep longing in your life. In this Advent season, for what are you hoping, waiting, longing, and yearning? What is the desire of your heart? Place those longings, yearnings, and desires in the palm of God's hand. Trust God to hold them, to bless them, to cultivate them, to bring them to fruition. Let us give thanks for Jesus, our love, our light, our peace, our joy. Came down that we 
may have light. He came down that we may have light. He came down that we may have light. Alleluia forevermore. He came down that we may have peace. He came down that we may have peace. He came down that we may have peace. Alleluia forevermore. He came down that we may have joy. He came down that we may have joy. He came down that we may have joy. Alleluia forevermore. Surrounded by the lights of Christmas, the soothing glow of candlelight, the light of Christ that shines brightly in and through each and every one of us. May you be blessed with comfort, contentment, peace, and hope. May you know that you are loved beyond measure, that you have value and worth to God and in this community of faith. May you find hope in the little baby born in Bethlehem who has come and will come to heal you, to love you, to save you, to bless you. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing. Go without fear, for Christ goes with you. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Amen. Amen.